adding positive numbers, which are any numbers greater than zero, and the three dots means that continues on forever. The positive numbers don't just stop at 10. And then adding negative numbers, any numbers less than zero, Okay, so for adding positive numbers, you always go to the right. So for example, 2 plus 2 equals, you would start at 2 and then move over 1, 2. And that's going to the right. So 2 plus 2 equals 4. So that's an example of adding positive numbers. Now adding negative numbers, so let's say negative 2 plus negative 2 would equal so adding negative numbers, we would move to the left. So negative 2, and we're adding another negative 2. We would start at 2, and at 1, 2, moving us to negative 4. So adding negative numbers, you move to the left. So let's do an example of if you wanted to buy some ice cream and you notice you have three dollars. So you have three dollars, which is a positive number because you have three dollars. And then you want to buy the ice cream. So that would be negative five dollars. So you would have to spend five dollars. So we would add our positive three dollars plus the cost of our ice cream, which would be five dollars, which we could write as negative five dollars, because we be get we would be giving five dollars. So to find that out. Then the store owner would say, hey, you only have $3. That's not enough. And the store owner would calculate, say, negative 5. Negative 5 plus your $3. 1, 2, 3. Leaves you still at negative 2. So you're still $2 short. But then you look in your other pocket and you find three more dollars. So now you're at negative two. You need two more dollars, but you realize you actually have three more dollars, which you could write as this negative 2, the cost that you're left over with, plus 3 dollars you just found in your other pocket. So negative 2 plus 3 would be, we start at negative 2 dollars, we need 2 more dollars, but we have 3 dollars, so we move over 3, 1, 2, 3, and that would leave us with an extra dollar. So we have one dollar too much so we can buy that ice cream and then the store owner would give us back a dollar if we gave him six so we would write that like this.